I've been relying more on like foods and nutrition to get me to have clear skin, which right now I'm not wearing any makeup. Um, so it's been kind of a battle finding out, you know, what my body likes and what it doesn't like. But I do still think that skincare is important and I am, yeah, girl, sup everyone. Um, so I do still think that skincare is important and like what you put like on your body is just as important as what you put in it because your skin is your largest organ and whatever you're putting on it, it is absorbing into your bloodstream. That means if something has like, I don't know, toxins in it or like red dye, yellow dye, that's not stuff that you really want to be putting on your skin. Um, so that being said, I have switched to using all natural products and as far as makeup goes, I just haven't been wearing any because <laughs> um, people keep asking me about all natural makeup brands. I have not been wearing any yet, um, but once I do, I will let you know. And yeah, so today I just want to talk about basically what I do use for my skin or what I have been using for my skin this summer. Um, so I haven't been wearing any makeup. I don't think like the last time I wore makeup, I maybe like a month ago. Um, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't like washing it all off at the end of the day and I just feel more like free and it feels good. So I'm just gonna keep not wearing any cause I like it like this. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm trying to read your guys' comments. Is almond milk a good substitute for regular milk? Yeah, I think almond milk is better. Almond milk is freaking delicious. Um, I get the kind that's like unsweetened because the sweetened one has a lot of sugar in it sometimes. And I also like coconut milk too. And they sometimes have like almond milk, coconut milk blend. I'm trying to post, so I'm kind of making up the food stuff as I go. And I'm trying to post that um, just like as I'm going. But I do, if you have Snapchat, I post like everything I make on Snapchat. So you could just follow me there, it's the same name. Um, yeah, I know it's hard at first, but definitely, I mean, what I've been doing, if this helps you at all, is just like low GI. So no refined carbs, barely any, basically no sugar, barely any sugar, um, just like protein, good fats and vegetables, not starchy vegetables and low GI fruits only. Um, this is pretty funny, but this has helped me a lot. So if you're interested, Glycemic index cookbook for dummies. This is like beginner's tips, so this is a good one if you're interested. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm here today to talk about my skincare routine. And so the only thing natural, like that's not natural is my face wash, so I didn't bring that. It's the same one I've always used. It's a Neutrogena one. Um, I'm looking for a new one that is natural, so if you have any like tips or recommendations or whatever, feel free to leave a comment because I would like for my skin care routine to be all natural. Um, yeah, so let me know. Oh, 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 wait, another change I've made before I get into this. I cut out anything that has SLS in it. So SLS is sodium lauryl sulfate, and that can actually cause acne as well. So make sure you're checking your products for that. I had no clue. Um, but like it'll say SLS free shampoo or SLS free toothpaste. Um, but I noticed a huge difference when I switched. I kind of like, cause I used to break out right here really bad and I pretty much have stopped since I switched. Um, what it is, it's like a, a cleansing agent or a sudsing agent. It's not anything that you need. <laughs> um, but for certain, like I think it's for most people, but it can cause like tiny micro tears like inside your skin and like on your body. And then the product will get inside of that and then that can cause acne. So yeah, just watch out for SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate. No bueno. Okay, my skincare hasn't changed that much. The masks I use are still these three. So I have cut out like anything I said before, like the masks that I was using that had, that weren't natural or anything I was using that wasn't natural. I'm not using that anymore. I'm really trying to like simplify my skincare routine a lot and only use natural. Um, so I've talked to you guys about this before. This is the, Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. This is Benetite Clay, and this is so powerful. I love it. Um, I didn't like it like the first time I used it because it makes your face red and it kind of purges your skin at first. Like it pulls everything out. Um, so it's kind of like one of those things that it gets worse before it gets better. But I love it now. It is like 
is so great. If you, you know when you get, I don't know how to explain it, but like throughout the week, I feel like I get like oilier or I feel dirt, well obviously you get dirtier, but like even if I take a shower, um, this is like a great ooh, deep cleansing mask to use like once every week and a half, two weeks. And I mix it with the activated charcoal clay mask, this one from Vanish. I use both these together, so they're both a powder, and I mix them with apple cider vinegar. And I use this one. And you can use any apple cider vinegar, just make sure that it's organic and that it says with the mother, because um, the mother is the good stuff that you want. But yeah, I would say these are good for deep cleansing, you know, making your pores look smaller, pulling out all the oil. Um, just getting like a really, really, really deep clean because I mean, it literally, it says on here, or yeah, feel your face pulsate. Yeah, you can, you can feel your face pulse, girl. Um, besides those two, the other one that I use is the pumpkin enzyme mask from Banish. And this one is just really good at like, it's a chemical exfoliation instead of a physical exfoliation. So it just sheds like the outer layer of your skin so that your new skin cells can like come through, hunty, come through. Um, yeah, I've talked about this one before, but it has pumpkin fruit, bilberry, lemon, sugar cane, uh, what else, orange. So yeah, ginger root, nutmeg, it smells delicious. Don't eat it, but this one's also organic as well as natural. Let's see what you guys are saying. Am I lactose intolerant? I am like 100,000% sure that I'm lactose intolerant. Um, everyone in my family is lactose intolerant, except for me, but I think that mine comes out in the form of cystic acne because once I stopped drinking all milk or eating all dairy products, I did at first purge, but I think that was everything that was in my system just coming out. And then I like haven't had basically anything since. But yeah, I do think I am lactose intolerant. Do I avoid consuming oil? Um, no. <laughs> I use coconut oil like it's going out of style and I don't care what that study said because it makes me feel good, so I'm gonna keep using it. And I also really like, um, uh, what is it? Extra virgin olive oil. Both of those are good for acne sufferers, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. And what else? Oh, coconut oil is good for balancing your hormones too. So I try to eat coconut oil like every single day. Yeah, turmeric is good for your skin in a mask and like in just food in general. Um, turmeric is anti-inflammatory, so it'll definitely like help to take down redness. The only thing about putting it topically, topically, topically is that it's kind of like yellow color so it could stain, but I love to add turmeric to like my food or my tea or just whatever, I love turmeric. Um, okay, so moisturizers that I've been using, I have been using, basically just these three things. So during the day, I've been using the aloe vera oil from Banish, and this is just aloe vera, vitamin E, and soybean oil. So red. I feel like this helps with redness, okay? And I feel like it also helps with texture, and I think I said before, like it gives you a nice dewy glow. I'm wearing it today, and I feel like you can tell. Um, and then, yeah, so I used the organic jojoba oil from Desert Essence. I really like this. It's not pore clogging, and if you do have acne, you can apply this on it as well, and it'll help to unclog your pores. It actually acts as sebum. Like, this is the closest thing to sebum um, that nature produces, so it will regulate your oil as well. And then at night, I have been using this vitamin C cream from Banish, and because it's really nice. I feel like I wake up and my face is like, I don't know, looks like glowy and I feel like it helps with my scars as well. Um, my week, can I share my weekly grocery, grocery list? Yeah, I can try. I feel like it changes all the time though because I always wanna try new stuff, you know? Um, but yeah, I'll definitely try. I will share that. Oh, Kerbrin, Kerbrin says tea tree oil cleanser from Trader Joe's. So I will have to go there because I've heard Trader Joe's is amazing and everyone loves it. And yeah, if that, that cleanser you're talking about is natural, 
I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys have so many questions. The Neutrogena face wash I use is not the one with benzoyl peroxide. It's the one that's for sensitive skin. It's in like a big thing with a pump and it says for sensitive skin on it. It doesn't have like benzoyl or anything like that in it that treats acne. Can I do a tutorial of the Banish Roller? Oh, you bet I can, Courtney. I will do that for you. Yes. Yeah, I thought, yeah, so turmeric is, oh, turmeric is good for your skin. It is good for your skin. You can consume it or apply it topically. Um, I forgot that was on my head, but yeah. How did I get rid of red marks and did Accutane make my skin red? Uh, it was so long ago, wow. Yeah, Accutane did make my skin red and I feel like the biggest thing that's helped me like with just getting rid of red marks and like my texture in general has honestly been like diet change, like focusing on eating anti-inflammatory foods. Regardless if you wanna hear that or not because <laughs> I feel like I did not wanna hear that. I did not wanna change my diet, but it really, 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 I swear has helped um, because it's like, if you think about it, if you're eating anti-inflammatory foods, like your body isn't inflamed, so then your skin isn't like showing it, um, but I feel like that's what's helped me the most. Also, obviously, like vitamin C serum if you just wanna use a product, but yeah. Hey, Kelsey girl. Shout out to Liz if this is real. Hey, Liz. Do you apply moisturizer after the mask? Um, yeah, I that usually like the, well, it depends on which mask, but usually, um, oh my God, the Aztec Indian Clay Mask, I do at night. Um, and then, so after that, I'll apply this, the vitamin C cream. And I really like this one. I do feel like it, it says on it, that's repairing facial cream. I really do feel like I wake up and my skin looks nice and plump and I love it. Do I think that carbs are something that mess with my acne a lot? Personally, yes. Um, I 100%, I mean, not. I can't speak for everyone, but I do think that they mess with mine like a lot. Um, basically, sorry, this is like totally changed topics, but I'll get back to skincare after I answer this question. Basically, um, the diet I've been doing, like the low glycemic index diet, you eat foods that don't spike your blood sugar. Um, most carbs are refined and therefore they do spike your blood sugar and then that can cause an inflammatory response in your system, which can cause acne. Um, so for me, for my body, yes, I do think carbs mess with my skin a lot. I can tell like a huge difference, not just in my skin, but in my energy levels and in my thinking too. Um, I feel like everything's just like a lot clearer now. Now. Like I said, I've like simplified my skincare so I really don't have that much to share. Um, the last two things, well I have one more thing, but the last two things I have are tea tree oil which has always been like my OG. I just use this as a spot treatment and this one I don't dilute it with anything. You could dilute it with some jojoba oil if you wanted, but I think this one, I don't think it's that strong to begin with honestly, but it does work well. And then also I use lavender oil, which is great for cysts. Um, and I just, I don't know, I love that lavender oil. So I kind of just rub it on all over my body, on my wrist too. I think it smells great and it's relaxing, so. Um, my favorite hair care product, coconut oil. <laughs> um, yeah, coconut oil. How do I stop breaking out around the mouth? Um, so technically face mapping or whatever, this half is um, hormones. So it could be a hormonal imbalance. So you could try like eating hormonal balancing foods or different adaptogens, um, supplements, or even like I told you guys about the SLS thing, just that's like something so simple. You could try switching out your toothpaste to one that's free of SLS and see if you stop breaking out down here. I mean, it's like five bucks. Change your toothpaste, so you never know. I think it would be worth it. Do I use Hydro Boost Moisturizer? I was using it before, but I'm not using it anymore. I'm only using All Natural now, except for that face wash. I just need a natural face wash, and then I will be All Natural. Did Accutane make my skin, oh wait, did I already answer that? Yeah, it did, it went away. Um, it gave me like hot flashes, but it went away like a year after. 
Can I post a picture of all products I am mentioning? Yeah, I can post like a story of all of them. Banished products, two hands up. Yes. Two hands up, girl. Um, do I recommend rosehip oil currently on Accutane? Yeah, I really like rosehip oil. I, it's funny, I say that every time, but I never, I always forget to grab it because it's in my fridge. I do have some. The one that I have is the Radha Beauty one. Uh, the one that I have is the Radha Beauty, like organic rosehip oil. You can use the any one, um, just make sure that it is cold pressed and organic. And I think that it does help with acne scars. It's just you have to keep using it over time. Like you can't use it like once or twice or even like for weeks. I feel like it starts working after months of using it, which is, I mean, kind of annoying, but it definitely does work. Does the Banish Roller leave holes in my skin? No, um, it creates like tiny micro tears in your skin, but it's not, like you can't see it to the eye. Um, they're microscopic. Do I like any face products from Lush? I look amazing, thanks. Um, I actually haven't used in a while, like years, any face products from Lush. It's funny because I always thought that they were like natural and organic, um, but it's like, their slogan is kind of like deceiving. Their thing is fresh, and um, but they're not like, they're not natural or organic. They use like chemicals and stuff in it. It's just that it's fresh. So I don't know. No, I don't use Lush. I'm rid of cystic acne via diet. Do I think my first round of Accutane improved me so much that diet is just additionally making things better? So I was for long Q. Um, no, that's a great uh, question. I definitely don't regret going on Accutane and I do think it helped me to get things under control. Um, I couldn't imagine just doing it through diet the first time, but it was frustrating when it came back after Accutane when I was told that it was never gonna ever, ever, ever come back ever again. Um, so it make, does make me wonder if I should have, you know, originally even done it. Um, I don't know, but I also feel like I'm torn because I feel like it was, it was worth it, but at the same time, was I just like masking a deeper problem that was going on, you know? So I don't know, that's a hard one. But I mean, it did come back after, like I had, I mean, you guys have seen pictures, maybe it didn't look as bad to you, but I had like, uh, just on this side, like eight cysts. And I feel like that's a lot just on one side when normally people don't have any, people, normal people don't even have to like think about this. Um. I started using Milk and Honey Lightweight Moisturizer from The Body Shop. I think it's breaking me out. Thoughts? Um, I would just go a couple days without using it and see if your skin clears up without it. Or go back to whatever you were using before and see if your skin clears up. And if it does, you could try it again. And if, then if you break out again, then I would quit using it. Does alcohol make my uh, skin worse? For me, Yes, but I don't drink very much. Um, I drink like occasionally, I don't know, like once a month or less, uh, but it is like an inflammatory substance. So it is, and it does can trigger like a, um, what is it? Stress hormone, cortisol. Um, so yeah, it can definitely make your skin worse. I have never tried Estroblock. Um, how many times do I wash my face with cleanser? Well, since I haven't been wearing like any makeup, I honestly haven't been washing my face as much. <laughs> but I feel like it looks better, so I don't really care. <laughs> um, I've been washing it at night, if I remember, and then just every morning. She just wants to be beautiful. She goes unnoticed. She knows no limits. She craves. 